Hey everybody, so back to back tutorial. Don't see that very often. Um, so I was recommended to also make a tutorial on the progress bar, and I completely agree. It's a really nice thing to have in housing, and I figured I'd just do it in the same day. I'm super motivated to do it, so let's get out of the way. So by progress bar, I mean on the scoreboard, you can see there's a certain amount of squares colored in and a certain amount not. You can see it here on the hologram too, and we'll click on this NPC, and it'll set a random number between 1 and 100, and then our target would be 100. So let's right click it. So we got 51 out of 100. So that's about halfway, a little bit more, That, but because it's only seven squares, it's only doing three. Let's click it again, we get 38. That might be, yeah, so that goes down to two. We'll get 12. That'll probably only just give us one square, or zero squares, actually. Um, we'll do another, we got five. That's also gonna be zero. 59, about halfway, but I think you get the idea. We'll take an input and we'll take a maximum that we want, in this case, 100. And this code will work if you have higher values or lower values. Then we convert that to colored squares. And obviously they don't need to be squares. But yeah, we're going to get right into it. I am coding this on the anti-cheat house, so there is some other stuff here. Just ignore it. We only really need one function for this tutorial. And we'll go right into it and see that there's a lot. But don't worry. I'm going to make this a little bit more simpler. Because instead we're going to use HTSL. Now before you click on the video, I know it looks a little complex. But trust me, if you've never touched HTSL before, it's just housing actions, but in text. And it's even better here because it's colored. Now converting this into your actual game can be done using the HTSL mod. And if I remember, there should be an info card on the top right on a full video on HTSL. But you can pretty much just look at what we have here and then just import it yourself. But out the way, let's explain what's going on. So we have two stats. We have a target and a progress. Progress is our current prog uh, progress. So let's say we have the number 14 out of 100. 14 is our progress and target is our target. So if we got same example, 14 out of 100, 100 would be our target. So first we're gonna start by setting our progress to whatever stat we want. Now, if you're using like an XP system, you might use your XP, you, if you might use your hearts, whatever you want. And our target would be um, our XP needed, our maximum hearts. I hope you understand the idea there, but you would wanna use a placeholder I have a full video on placeholders, but for a quick guide, you can go slash placeholders and you can see the player dot or the stat dot player the placeholder is here. And then before we continue, one more thing, I just wanna show you the math behind it. It's the same math you would do to see that you got a an F on your math exam. So let's say you got a 63 on your exam and the maximum you could get was a 100. You would do your 63 divided by 100 and you could see you got 63%. Now that's pretty easy. So what if we had maybe a different value? Let's say we got a 20 out of 30. So 20 divided by 30, we got a 66%. So what we're doing is taking what we got and dividing it by the maximum we could have got. So in housing, that's literally what we're doing. However, housing does not support decimals. So what we do is multiply the progress by 100. So now let's say we got, again, 20. We would multiply that by 100. So we got 2000 and then now divided by 30 and we would get that 66%, but as a whole number and not a decimal. So hopefully that makes sense. That's the math behind it, but we'll continue. So we're taking our progress, multiplying by 100, and then dividing by our target. So now we should have a number that's either uh, between 0 and 100. And if it's greater than 100, which it might also be, then that just means that's 100%. And then here is a little bit complex. So each one of these uh, uh, squares has a stat before it. So we hover over this, you can see it's kind of hard to see, but we have stat underscore PB1. Now it does say stat underscore PB1. That's the old placeholders. The reason I'm using them is because they're a little bit shorter than the new ones. We can also see that there is a and sign before them. So what we're actually doing is assigning the stat a number and then using that as a color code. Hopefully you got that. Hope but basically we're gonna edit these stats to the different ones. So first I also wanna show you how to set up the hologram or whatever we wanna display it on bracket we're using the and seven color code for the gray color obviously it's completely up to you we're putting the and sign and then percent sign percent sign stat underscore and then i'm calling the stat pb followed by the number so one two three four five six seven eight uh six seven and then we end it off with uh the two percent signs and a square icon a little bit of self promo here but if you go to the housing hub discord and do the command slash emojis in in the commands channel it was right there but you can see a huge list of emojis that you can be used in your house and specifically the square one is right here okay so now that we set up our hologram we got to finish the code for it let's go back and do the rest so, so i recommend seven total stats so pb one through seven and then here's what you want to do we're going to check if the progress stat is greater than or equal to 100 which means the entire bar should be full so we're going to set all the stats pb one to seven to three now this would be the filled in stat 
So the colors that you could use are from one to zero, or I should say zero to nine. I think three looks good, so I'm using three. And now because we have seven increments, I did the math that we're just gonna do is greater than or equal to 85, which means we're gonna set them all them to full, except for the last one, we're gonna set to a grayed out version, which is eight. The next one is 71, so the last two are eight. 57, the last three are eight. 42, the last four are eight. 28, the last five are eight. 14, we only have one that's visible, so the last six are eight. And then otherwise, we'll just set them all to eight. And it's also important we do have the exit to stop the rest of the code from running. I also should mention that if we go to our housing menu and our functions, right click on our function and make sure the automatic execution is a number relatively low, or might be a little quick. If your house has a lot of players, it might lag, but otherwise it should be fine. And yeah, that's it. We'll right click on this a little bit more. We'll see 23, yeah, it's pretty, pretty low. We'll try to get a high number, 82, that's pretty high. Yeah, that's five filled in. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I appreciate you for watching. If you need help with anything housing related, join the Housing Hub Discord. That's a lot, as you saw earlier, it has a bunch of useful utilities that you can use in your house. I also wanna thank you for the support recently. I think we just hit 1.2 thousand subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.